Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, on my channel, I'm always telling you guys, live an active lifestyle, make small nutritional choices, fight against the laziness. And I'm always showing you guys different exercises that you can do that don't require a gym or, you know, any kind of fancy equipment or anything like that. And I'm always telling you guys about the rocks, right, that I'm carrying around. I'm always talking to you guys about a farmer's carry, right? But... There's also other things you can do with a simple rock, like this one I have, for example. And it's called something like a ground to overhead, right? So basically what it is, is you're going to take pick something up heavy, and you're going to take it from the ground, like it says, from the ground, and you're going to lift it up over your head. like Just like it says, ladies and gentlemen, ground to overhead. Except the key here is you want to be careful, right? You don't have to worry about any kind of fancy technique with a lot of this stuff. You know, especially if you have something like a sandbag, which is great for a ground to overhead. You know, picking up a sandbag and then lifting up, up over your head is really awkward, right? The sand moves around. That's why I'm telling you a lot of times with this stuff, guys. These things are awkward. It's different. It's not just a dumbbell or a barbell or something that you can easily grab onto and lift and put it above your head. This stuff requires a little bit of technique, a little bit of maneuvering. So think about going the ground to the overhead. It's a great exercise that you can do with any of those rocks that I've been showing you guys. So this is one of the rocks that I use as a, like I tell you, like one of the 80 pound rocks that I use my, my, for my walking lunges, that I use for my farmer's carries. And um, oftentimes, I'll do this with a lot of these rocks. Like I said, now you have to be careful though, right? You don't want to worry about a special technique or a certain technique, but at the same time, lifting something up requires a certain and uh a, the, the same technique basically right when you're lifting up something you want to be careful with your back right you don't want to arch your back like this and 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 bend like that you want to keep that back nice and flat when you bend right always think about the hip hinging when you're picking something up bend that bend in the knees right don't keep that leg stiff and bend always bend the knees use that hip hinge movement and, and pull and pull and uh, pick things up always think about that so you're just gonna go right you're gonna take this rock and i'm literally just gonna bring it up and then I'm going to lift it up over my head, just like that. And lift it right over my head. You really want to be careful with something like this, that you don't hit yourself in the face. So be careful. Move your head out of the way. You don't want to lean too far back when you go overhead with it. That's not good, right? You don't want to lean back, but you also want to move your head and not get hit in the face. I did that one time, came down right on top of my head with one of these rocks, and I cut my head pretty good right here. So always think and pay attention to what you're doing, moving your head out of the way as you're bringing it up and as you're bringing it down. Always trying to keep the weight close to your body. Don't have it too far out, okay? Always try to keep that weight close to your body, right? Always keep it close to your body. Explode up, always keeping it close to your body. And you really wanna go with some, some gusto. Try to use that power, keeping that weight close exploding overhead you have to do a bunch of reps of this i would say anywhere from like seven to ten reps would be great if you're going really heavy some between five to seven would be great with this kind of exercise and like i said be careful when you're lifting this stuff up these rocks are awkward and remember nice good hip hinge keeping that back flat bringing that keeping that weight close and exploding up right it's almost like a clean right cleaning the weight up and then exploding overhead right if you have a sandbag or something think about bringing that sandbag up right from ground to the shoulder or ground to overhead they call it think about incorporating that into your workouts you could use anything that you use for the carries anything that's got a, a decent amount of weight on it and like i said ladies and gentlemen when you're using rocks or something like this there's no handles on it it's awkward to grab it's going to make it a little bit more challenging you may not be able to use as much weight as you thought you would because more of that stuff is going to come into play so once again ladies and gentlemen you don't need a fancy gym no fancy equipment to get your exercise in to get the workouts in the ground to the shoulder, ground to the overhead. Think about incorporating that into your exercise, ladies and gentlemen.